Tim Sheens has fired up over rumours there's already a rift between himself and assistant coach Benji Marshall. Tomorrow, Sheens will coach his first NRL match since returning to the Tigers, alongside the man who delivered the club its only premiership in 2005. Tim Sheens and Benji Marshall, an iconic duo in Tiger Town. But even before they've coached a single game together, there's talk they are clashing. Is there any truth to that at all? Yeah, I hate the kid. <laughs> Please. Really? Uh, I, I really, it doesn't deserve answering, sorry. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. Is that frustrating, that? No. No, the, from the point of view of the club's got plenty of criticism over the years and uh, you know, it's all about getting results on the, on the board. That shuts people up. Sheens was happy to talk about one of his star signings, new skipper, Appy Corusau. Well, I'd have to say I didn't think I'd see another hooker as good as Robbie at this club. Benny Elias prior to that, of course, with Balmain and so on, but, um, but Appy certainly filled that gap for us. So do you think he could be the best number nine this club has ever seen? Oh no, I'm not going to say that. You're not going to get me on that, Emma. <laughs> Tomorrow, the Roosters take on new franchise, the Dolphins, led by the super coach, Wayne Bennett. Well, he's the right guy to lead that team as well, you know, in such a short space of time. Needed someone with leadership and confidence to sort of get it up and going and, and put it in place. Bennett has already made some tough calls, leaving Anthony Milford out of the side. He's got a couple of things in his game that I want to be better before he comes back into the NRL. What are they, Wayne? Well, that's between me and him. Emma Lawrence, Nine News. The Panthers concede they have plenty of work to do if there are any chance of achieving their three-peat dream. The Premier's round one loss to the Broncos, resulting in a post-match blow-up between Jerome Luai and Jamin Salmon. Frustration at the foot of the mountains. Teammates teeing off at each other after a shock first up defeat. A little bit disorganised at times. A disappointing loss, but um, certainly a lot to build on for sure. Jerome Luai's face bruised in a brutal battle with Brisbane, the Panthers stunned in just their third loss at home since 2019. It's a little bit early season rust. The team's different too, you know, we've um, obviously got different going half. Mitch Kenny started at hooker, but super sub Sony Luke provided Penrith with a spark. The Panthers still figuring out how to replace Upi Corusau. He's probably the best hooker in the game at the moment. And the stuff he does around the ruck there is um, pretty impressive. But um, yeah, again, I think I'm a bit different to Uppy and um, hopefully paved my own way there. Broncos skipper Adam Reynolds sealed the one-point win and left Sydney full of belief. Gives us confidence to know we can, we can do it with obviously a quality team they've been in through the last grand final. The Knights left New Zealand losers and fuming Kalen Ponga was forced off for a head injury assessment when Newcastle trailed by two points. They went down by eight. It's independent doctor, mate. I have no say over it. I've been knocked out before. I definitely wasn't. I couldn't believe it. Ten minutes to go, game on the line. We worked really hard, or, and or he has, to get himself back in the game, and now we're jumping at this, jumping at shadows to get him out of the game. I don't get it. Zach Bailey, Nine News.